Hi guys and welcome back! In this video I want to talk about Galvantula EX with its possibility to item lock your opponent with its Fulgurite attack for 3 energies, you do need a Grass, Electric and a Fighting Energy for it and it does only 180 damage but discard all energies from this Pokemon. During your opponent's next turn they can't play any item cards from their hand. So it really stops them from yeah, using Nest Ball, using Counter Catcher, using all items. And its second attack, I mean actually their first attack isn't that bad as well. Charge to up for only an electric and a colorless energy. It does 110 plus if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX or a Pokemon V, this attack does 110 more damage. For this version of the deck, I decided to team it up with Blissey EX with its ability Happy Switch. Once during your turn, you may move a basic energy from one of your Pokémon to another of your Pokémon. So yeah, it's you don't have to discard energies from your Gravantula in case to uh, use its item lock. So with Blissey EX, you can start switching energies back onto it. Because Galvantula is a Terra Pokemon, you can use Glass Trumpet as your main engine to get the energies back onto your board. You can use this card only if you have any Terra Pokemon in play. Choose up to two of your benched colorless Pokemon and attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to each of them. Blissey happens to be a colorless Pokemon, so you can attach energies from Blissey and then you can happy switch them back onto your Galvantula EX. We also do play a couple of Power Glass just to get the energies back underneath the Gavantula that you just discarded to use its attack. At the end of your turn, after you attack, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, you may attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to it. So you use its um, item lock, attack and discarding all energies and at the end of your turn, right after the attack, you can get one of them back. And of course, Galvantula is a Terra Pokemon, so we do play the Noctile engine. I do play two, two of them just to search out anything you need. It's such a good card. Um, sometimes searching cards is way better than drawing them, so that's why the Noctile engine is in the deck. And just in case you do need to draw some extra cards, there is one one line of B Barrel in the deck as well. This card may not be a heavy hitter, but I still want to give it a try, uh, check out how it plays in the current meta. So let's go to the gameplay. Okay, so it looks like we're going second, which is good that we can start attacking or using the attack of our uh, Joltik. And we can use our Arvin. Looks like we're up against Greninja, though. Greninja does hit us for weakness. Okay, drawing the Chansey is good. We play Buddy Buddy. Um, let me see. Is it switching deck? Oh, the switch is not in deck. Oh my god. Then there is no way we can switch into the Joltik. There's four Joltik sprites? We do play four, right? Holy smokes, these prize cards. Our barrel is also prized. Wait. Okay, there's one Noctile in our hand, but there's also one Noctile prized. What the hell is this? Yeah, alright. Okay, so what do we do in this case? We can grab- wait, was Greninja in here? Greninja is here. I think we can grab Nest Ball for Greninja. Oof! If, if only the Switch was in the deck, then we could have- um, and we could have started attaching energies to our Pokemon. But unfortunate, it is not. Maybe a buddy buddy was slightly better? Or some small ones? I don't know. Let's start drawing cards with Greninja. We're already up against one of our worst matchups. 
If they have rare candy... Um, we could attach the power glass to the hood hood. At the end of your turn, right? Yes. So, the energy comes on the hood hood and we can manually retreat it next turn. Hey, desperate times mean for desperate measures. There's the rare candy. Yeah, we're gonna see it, aren't we? Yeah, this this is just bad, you know. Maybe it was better to go for another Joltik, but then then what? Then then they would have just targeted two Joltiks, right? What does that do again whenever a player attaches an energy from their hand to one of their non... To one of their basic non-water Pokemon put two damage counters on it. Alright, oh, they're just going after the Hood Hood. They're not sniping at all. There is a chance. But now what? Our Galvalchula is still weak to Greninja. So whatever we do... And also, our Blissey is also weak, so but basically this is just, um, yeah. A very fighting weak deck. <laughs> so at this point, I don't really know what we will do against it. We can't KO it. Um, no, it's just, um, it's just very rough, actually. Um, let me think here. There's no way we can get, um... Oh, we can we can evolve the Joltik. We can search with knockdown. We have a bunch of search options though, so I, I guess I guess we just do that first and see what this deck um gives us um Noctal. Yes. Oh we do need energy. And we need a trumpet as well, but Arvin can get us the trumpet, but then still, man. If we're just going to attack into the Greninja... They, they one hit KO us next turn, so... Oh, um, or the Crispin? Crispin gonna help? At this point, I don't know. Uh, we do need energies. We need to discard stuff. Um, we can also play the Hyper Aroma for guards that in our deck. Play the Buddy Buddy. We're going to play the vessel, ditching the normal Gavalchula, and there is one lightning in our discard pile, so we're gonna grab the other ones. Start drawing cards with Greninja. Doesn't really matter which one we ditch. Ooh, uh, we can evolve the Blissey. And now we can go for Arvin, Arvin Trumpet, and something else. I mean, yeah, it's the, mm, there's one tool left, and that's the baton. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we need the Arvin here. Not for you, but these do.
Yeah. Vulture is done for. Anyway. There's no use attaching anything to it. It's gonna get KO'd probably next turn, so um charged web. That's it's not enough. <laughs> I feel I feel so underpowered. This deck feels slightly <laughs> underpowered. Ah <sighs> We do hit Palkia for weakness though, <laughs> but that's about it. Big bad Greninja is not gone. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, as expected, there is the KO. <sighs> Let me think here. They're gonna grab anything out of their deck. Either the Blissey or the Joltik, but if we promote the Blissey, there's no way we can get it charged up because it needs to be on the bench for the trumpet, right? Yep. So I guess we have to promote the Joltik. The Iono. Ooh. Hold up, hold up. Um, we can Iono them to three. Needs lightning as well, so I guess we can discard the energy. Mm, we can attach the power gloss, so we're going to Iono them to three. So if they if they don't hit anything, we can charge our Belvultula for. I don't know, <laughs> for something. <laughs> oh, and they have the Faz, right. All right, we're, we're going to Iono now. Okay, we do hit the trumpet. All right. We did hit it. Um, let's flip the script first. <laughs> Not a trumpet. Really need it. Uh, we're definitely going to use the trumpet. Attach it somewhere. Wow, uh, we're going to use Blissey's ability. And we can attach from turn. Do we need something else? The big barrel was not in deck, so there's no use of ultra balling for it because it was prized. I, I didn't see it, so it was prized. I think we're just going to KO and hope it sticks. Hope the Iono sticks. Unfortunately, we cannot use the second attack to stop our opponent from using items, but we do have the KO on the big... Oh, we don't have a cross energy? Oh, damn, bummers. <laughs> Oh, we did attach it to the Blissey. Oh, we should have we should have thought about that. We should have thought about that. Is it discard all? Yeah, discard all energies. Is Iono alive? Or is it not? Yeah, the Iono is sticking. Awesome. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, let me let me think. We can do Arvin. We do want. 
Mm, let me think here. I think we do want a grass energy onto our Gaventula and um, we can counter catch it, but uh, or we can Crispin. No, no, Crispin is not going to help us here. We, we want to KO the Palkia, I think. KOing the Palkia is great. We can grab the... Oh, we don't have any more vessels. Okay. Well, anyway, getting the counter catcher. We can... Hit, we can KO the... Um, <clears throat> the Palkia with the item lock attack. But we'll just get rid of four energies instead of three. Because... <clears throat> the mess up with the grass energy onto the Blissey. I should have attached the fighting energy and should have left the grass energy in my discard for hourglass to be attached but i think we're just going off the palkia um but we can trumpet we can we can trumpet we can use blissey's ability to get the grass energy onto the gavantula and we can trumpet it back on we even have Rispin. although do we have energies left i think we have energies left in our deck, so we can still crisp and... Mm. Do we need something out of our discard pile to stretch her? No, we don't. So I think we're just going to, just in case, negate our opponent from using items. Oh, the B-barrel. Nice. We have a full hand. <laughs> Uh, we're going to attach the lightning energy so that just in case we can start hitting um, with charged web next turn. They are not allowed to use rare candy so there is no way they can get a grand ninja out so... Yes, awesome! I think we can even... Item lock them again. So let's go. Um, here, here. Now we can use the stretcher. Can use happy switch. Boom. Can even evolve to save it from easy damage. Um, we don't want to Iono, we could use Crispin instead of... Because we don't really want to Iono them, they don't they, they don't seem like they're having a good hand, so... Let's just get this out. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're going to attach this one to the Blissey. Oh, or, or take it to hand. <laughs> always mix the two up, but it doesn't really matter that much. As long as we just don't manually attach the... Grass energy to a Gavantula because we need the fighting energy underneath it. And I think we're just going to follow a ful Fulgurite. Fulgur <laughs> Fulgurite. <laughs> what a name. Um, onto the Froki. And yeah, th 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 then there is like almost nothing they can do next turn. Unless Iona was the one, but um, we do have. Oh, yeah, only one. <laughs> We do have the Blissey on the bench, fully uh, fully charged. We do have um, the Power Gloss on the Gavantula. So right now, at this moment, it's looking quite good for us, to be honest. No Greninja because they cannot use Rare Candy. Alright, so it looks like we got this in the pocket. Just attach and get a boom. Charge trap for the last price. GG's. Why can't we ever start with Joltic Charge Go? <laughs> We play four jewel decks, you know? Four! <laughs> Is it so hard? But, I mean, mm, no. No, we need an energy. We need to switch. And an energy. We can't search for both.
there are bargles, all right. Yeah, we need to stop them from using items if we want to win, I think, from this matchup. We do hit the energy, oh my god, let's go. Okay, first, first we need to see if the, um, the switch is in the deck. <gasps> it's here, oh my god. Party. Okay, um, let me think. We need to go grab the switch with Arvin. We can grab a Joltik. Chauncey. Arvin. We can use... Do we want to... Hmm... Maybe just a power gloss, I don't know. Uh, and we need to switch. We need to be switching out the Hoot out of... Um, doing on another... Chances are... There, the Joltik is gonna get KO'd in the active spot. I think we do want another Joltik. Switch. And jolting charge on the benched joltic and Oh they're gonna gust up. They're definitely going to gust up my Pokemon, are they? I can feel it in my fingers. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, it's a uh, buffle. Buffle Terrapagos. Yeah, it's, it's, that's good. Yep. Oh, we definitely hit way less. Oof, this is, this is gonna be tough, though. Tough. This is definitely not an easy matchup, for sure. Alright, Noctowl, what are they gonna grab? Where can he fed a ball? Okay, so Pidgeot is coming out to play. Pidgeot is good. We can we can KO Pidgeot with one attack. We can hit Pidgeot for weakness. The water energy. Alright, Terrapagos is ready to hit. Are they gonna grab the boss? They probably will, right? Boss KO the Joltik on the bench. Or counter catcher. Sure, yeah. Something like that. Oh yeah, the counter catcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They otherwise had no switch option. All right. Um. Oh, the hyper aroma is definitely a top deck. <laughs> Holy smokes. Um, let me think here. What are we gonna do about it? Um. We can go after the Arvin, but let's... Um, we can go after the Pidgeot with Arvin. <laughs> let's do this first. Grab you, you, and you. Can we? We do have... Can we KO the Pidgeot and stop them from using items? That's the question, though. We, we will see. We are going to evolve the Joltik, evolve the Chansey, and evolve the Noctowl, grabbing stuff. We can grab a Trumpet, can we? No, Trumpet is not going to help us. I think we need something like an Energy Retrieval. We need the Counter Catcher. There's two energies in our discard pile. We can... Oh, no, wait. We don't need... Oh, we need a thing. Energy. I think we need counter catcher and vessel. Vessel searching out the fighting energy. In... KO the Pidgeot 
stopping them from using items as well. Or we can just... What are they gonna search for? The question is, if we stop them from using items, what are they going to search for? Their search is gone. They don't have a hoot hood on the bench. They can just attack into the Terrapagos. Isn't it just safer? Although, if we stop them from using N, um, items, then um, I, I guess they cannot do nest ball or anything like that. They only can do a supporter. Um, I do want to follow up one next turn. Still have chill dicks. Hoot hoots. Let's do this. I hope. I think we get rid of the power. Uh, no, not the power glass, but the heavy button. I'm not sure how useful the heavy button is in this deck, actually. Okay, now we need the grass energy. All right. We KO their surge power. They cannot use items. They can attack into the Galvantula. That's that's definitely the case they are going to do. They're just going to attack. Oh, it's only 120 damage. We survive another attack. Holy damn, that's good. Hmm. Yet again, sequencing the energies is very important. I think I should have attached any of the other ones. Damn it. Um. And not KO this thing. It's uh, even with our first attack. It's an HP short. Uh, let me think here. We could grab the hood hood. Search for, maybe we can search for Crispin. Yes, I think Crispin going to be the grab here. Energies in our discard pile, so I think Crispin Trumpet. Might not be a bad idea. That should here. Trumpet. Here, we can still even use Bliss's ability. It doesn't really matter, but actually, it does. Because then we say that doesn't really matter. We can we can attach to the Blissy. We save the attachment from turn, and we are just going to Felgarite. Yeah, I mean, even even if we, yeah, it's 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 more than an HP short because we forgot about the buffles there. But we are going to negate him from using items. This time we are going to attach the fighting energy. <laughs> I forgot about that attack. <laughs> yeah, I must admit I really forgot about that one. But we can Iono them and we can still take the KO with the Blissy. No, maybe it's 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 180. 
it's 120. It's 120. We're definitely going to Iona, our opponent. Bye. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. We even hit the pheasant dippity. Let's go. Trumpet. But we don't have a Terra Pokemon. It's fine. We can get another one. I don't think we want a happy switch. I think I do want that um, fighting energy. We're gonna get cards until we have six in our hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'll just attach the... Can you see grass energy? I think I do want to keep that fighting energy on my bench. We could, alone, we could switch it to the Joltik just in case. Yeah, sure, give me one extra card. Yay! The Gavantula. Awesome. Mm. Vessel. Alright, so they can start attacking with Fan Rotom, but do they have a Ghost option? Can they Ghost up my Jiltic on the bench and KO it with Fan Rotom? Nope. And that's fine. All right. Um, there are a few things we can do here, but I think I want to go after the PG. I also think I want to play the trumpet. Uh, electric and crawl. What is there left in my deck? I don't think there's a lot left, right? Happy switch. Onto the Gavantula. Uh, we're going to boss KO the Pidgey for sure. We can place down this. That's okay. We can also place down... Do we want to place down the other Joltik? I don't really think so. Or do we? Just in case we get Stretcher. It's not like it's uh, I mean, they're on three prize cards. It's not like they can gust KO it for game. Uh, so I think we're Gucci. I think I just want to gust this up. Let's see. Vacuum? Vacuum is fine. I was hoping for that. We can get rid of um, Noctiles. Noctiles are not really doing for doing anything, so it's good riddance. I really don't mind doing that, yeah. <laughs> GG's, there was nothing they could do, right? Alright guys, that was it for this video. I think it's fair to say that Gavantula EX can be quite an annoying Pokemon because it stops your opponent from using cards like Rare Candy. And there are quite a lot of decks dependable on Rare Candy at this moment. I am not saying that Gavantula EX stops them from playing, but it definitely slows them down. But this deck has a weakness of its own, it is the setup speed. You are very dependable on a great setup, your Joltik needs to start charging up your other Pokemon on the bench and it's taking an extra turn to get going. But overall, it was fun making this video. As always, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye bye!